no one to reverse. That would help. Uh, what a rapid fire morning. It is 9.30 a.m. And I gotta get to South, otherwise known as Lincoln Peak, to meet up with the rest of the group. Um, yeah, it's uh, been a rapid fire morning. Like I said, got up early, 6.30, chirping of birds. Kind of a gray sky, but eh, oh well. Sun is starting to poke out. And uh, yeah, breakfast with another gentleman I met, uh, JT. He's also going out to South, so I might run into him. And uh, started editing a video after uploads, sorry, not uploads, um, updates of the program I'm using. And just trying to get settled in and keep my eye on the time. I'm almost done that video, but. Man, this daily vlog thing, whew. I don't know how some YouTubers do it, but I guess it's kind of like any sort of uh, skill. You get better at it, more efficient at it, and you know what to do and what not to do. So, hats off to you, people. I don't have enough room to take my actual hat off, so they're corking my head off to the side, so I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for now. And I'll meet you guys at the mountain. They blow a lot of snow on that.
best feeling of the day. Is taking off ski boots. Yeah, buddy. Wraps up the first day of skiing. Conditions were all right. It's spring skiing, absolutely. It's five degrees right now, Celsius. The bottom is like a wet corn meal. We call it corn snow. The top, uh, top of Heaven's Gate, is actually fairly decent for regular snow, but going from one condition to the other, the wax on the skis just likes to grab onto the water, and then once you get into the colder stuff, it, it's like putting the brakes on. It's kind of, it, it's all different types of conditions all over the mountain today. Um, but uh, it's five o'clock. Uh, dinner at the Rex is at six o'clock. I'm on my way back to Swanson Inn for dropping some gear off. Um, having a drink of water. Getting changed, maybe a shower. And then off to dinner and interviews and things like that. But uh, so far, everybody's been on board. It's it's really cool. Like I said before, it's it's... 19 years of the Walloon group and people coming together for this and some people may be better well off than others and yet they still choose this group of people this place sometimes it's in other places um, but mostly it's here down in Sugarbush, Vermont um, but you know this is where they choose to put their time, their effort, and their hard-earned money to come and enjoy the company of fellow Walloners. It's it's something that's pretty incredible. So, um, I had a good day. Unfortunately, one, actually two of our, or of the, um, members of the Walloon group uh, got injured today. One fell down, twisted their knee a bit. Uh, it looks like they might be out for the rest of the time while they're down here. And the other one um, took a, an injury to their ribs. Um, neither of which I can imagine are any sort of fun. They were sitting at the Castle Rock pub with ice packs on their respective injuries. So... But regardless, they're still having a good time, even, you know, despite their their ailments at the moment. But, you know, there's, there's people of all sorts of different skill levels, from people who, well, actually, we all really haven't skied in the past two years because of COVID. But, you know, even before then, there were, there were people that were uh, new skiers and unsure of their skills, and they've been progressing um, as the years go by and getting better and better and better and there are others that have been skiing for their entire lives and it really takes only one run to remember you know where all the bits and pieces go and what all the things are that they they've got to do in order to be successful and you know ski down the hill and enjoy themselves so there's snowboarders too um interviewed a couple of them last night that would be uh, Eric and oh, I have forgotten her name so it's the K Kaylee I will put that in post her proper name I am so sorry that I have butchered it but 
their snowboarders, long story short, um, they had to go back early, so we snuck in an interview last night at the Hideaway uh, Inn, and, um, you know, despite a couple little hiccups here and there that were unrelated to the interview, it, it was an absolutely great night. So, thank you to you two if you ever wind up finding your way to this, to this vlog. Um, truly, truly a fantastic night. So I've got another few minutes going down German Flats Road before I get to Route 17 and then back to the Swanson Inn. So I'm gonna let you go now and we'll catch up with you later. I got a couple more interviews tonight at the Rex. So things are coming together. Still, wish you were here. Hey, how are you? Not too bad. How was your day today? Good. You? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, considering all the rain and stuff that we had today, yeah. it could be worse. So it was just such a wide variety of what it was at the very top versus what it was at the very bottom. It was just the gambit. Sweet home.